talk about classification of uh, uh, random variable based on the nature of range of random variable. Range uh, very much uh, we had already seen the definition of range. So I am saying that when we are defining a function from sample space of a random experiment, then we say that uh, we are mapping this random outcome. Okay. I think this one. Okay, so uh, we are mapping uh, random outcome to real number and uh, this one is first that it would be a real valued map of random outcome. The second we are talking about range of the function x that we denote it by omega x. We call it omega suffix x. So what is that? It is collection of all random number. You know that what is the definition of a range of a function? How you define range of a function? How you define? If x is a map, then x of omega, it is collection of x of omega, a small omega. Okay, such that the small omega is coming from capital omega. That means small omega is an outcome. So, this is the definition of range. Mathematically, if you talk about range, definition of a uh, range, range of a function that you, everyone might be aware of that. So, in total, if uh, you talk about, so you can denote uh, like here all these stories like this way that means you are having a random outcome omega and it is mapped to a random number it is mapped to a random number that we call it x of omega and this random number you can give a, a name uh, we will call it simply a small x a small x means it is one realization of the random variable x, capital X. Capital X is the random variable, a small x is one realization, a one observation you can call it. So it belongs to R. A small x belongs to R, that we call it. And further if you uh, say here, uh, this I had told that uh, omega is always random in nature. The small omega is always random in nature and hence a small x is always random in nature. So a small omega you will call it random outcome and a small x you will call it random number. And you will say that from x is a number from where random is coming, random is coming from the random nature of, nature of the small omega. It is coming from there. It is not coming from capital X. Capital X is just a function. Function is always determinist in nature. You can't say that a square root, a square root is a function. You can't say that a square root is a non-random thing. We can't say that. What is a square root means we are taking a number and squaring it. That is uh, 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 taking a square root of it. We are taking a number and we are doing a square root of that. And if someone is saying that we are having function a square, that means we are taking a number and we are squaring it. So that that is the function, that is the rule. So the rule is always determinist in nature outcomes if you are dealing with probabilistic experiment outcome happens to be random in nature so under the function x random outcome map to random numbers so again i am saying same thing okay so in the last class we had already seen the definition that means it is a function from omega to r uh, and it assign a real number x of omega is a real number for each outcome omega in the sample space of a random experiment and one example we had taken that x is now counting number of heads when you are tossing uh, three coins together. So what are the possible possible value x will take? x will take either 0, 1 or 2, 2 or 3. 
if x someone is saying that uh, what is the value of probability of x equal to 4 what would be the probability of x equal to 4 it would be 0 because there is no random outcome which is mapped to 4 x equal to 5 also having probability 0 there is no random outcome which is mapped to 5 so like likewise you can say that it is a mapping you can find inverse image with respect to each real number so some real numbers uh, the real numbers or random number will map to uh, what uh, outcome and some will map to null set some will map to null set that is the criteria null set is having uh, probability measure 0 so second example in the same problem if you are coming with uh, another function that reward kind of things so likewise you can define various function over a given random experiment you can define uh, various functions so various possibility of uh, random variable you can define in a single random experiment you can define various possibilities so very one so second example we had did in a third example was that picking uh, or selecting number from the interval minus 1 to 1 and assigning a sign and the sign is turned into negative sign we call it minus 1 positive numbers we positive sign we are calling 0 and uh, no, 1 and 0 will map to 0 so under, under the sign map sgn means sign short form of sign and also you have might have already seen signum function so same kind of thing is coming here then third example i had discussed about uh, character characteristic, uh, characteristic function that means uh, if you are taking uh, we are not just talking about uh, interval kind of uh, sample of space or discrete kind of sample of space we are taking any arbitrary nature of set so if you are taking any arbitrary nature of set uh, as a sample of space then how you will define uh, random variable there through characteristic map that means element which are coming from the set will map to 1 and those element which are outside of the set will map to 0 that we call it characterizing we are characterizing the set so that function we call it characterizing function okay characteristic function okay so one example is that here if you are taking set sample space also you can define it like this way so there are various way to convert a random outcome to random numbers so in all these examples we had seen we are uh, converting uh, transforming random outcome to random numbers and why random number i have told that those number are occurring with uh, probabilities some probabilities that means those are not certain kind of numbers some probabilities are associated with that so uh, we are calling uh, those number random numbers then if you are having discrete random variable then we have to uh, define various kind of discrete random variable based on range of the random variable so if uh, we are having a random variable as a map from omega to omega x that happens to be range uh, uh, that means collection of random number and here omega x is a very specific type that means it, that means it is a discrete set that means we are able to write random number in the term of single sequence we are able to write in term of a single sequence we call it x k such that k very belongs to uh, natural number okay so in that case we will say that the corresponding uh, random variable is a discrete random variable okay in last class i had already discussed and apart from that what we uh, see if you are taking any subset of the random numbers that pulls back to pulls back to some event in sample space so b is what b is a subset of omega x it is coming as a subset of omega x under certain a statement so here b is a, a subset of omega x under certain a statement okay constructed by certain a statement so uh, actually the abstract name is you can call it b is a borel set that's why b notation is taken here and the that subset of omega x is pulls back to an event event collection of event what we had given notation collection of event we had given notation sigma algebra that means it is a subset of 
uh, it is collection of subset of omega which are constructed by a, uh, some given a statement given a statement that kind of things okay so always a statement is coming so here if you are taking any subset of omega x under certain a statement it pulls back that means inverse image inverse image is a subset of omega and satisfy a statement so that means inverse image of b is a an event apart from this you need this condition as well so in if you go in further in uh, higher dimension uh, uh, if you go in uh, more rigorous mathematics you can call it uh, x is measurable function it is a function which measures things which count thing which is related with some kind of measure some kind of point you can call it okay so further uh, if uh, you are saying uh, this is that simply this is the definition of uh, uh, discrete random variable and here you have to understand that what is if you are taking a, a single random number x a small x a small x is one instance of uh, random variable x one observation of a random variable x so if you are taking that the x inverse x uh, the inverse image of x what does it it is talking about it is a collection of all omega which are mapped to x it is collection of inverse image of x is it is collection of all omega from the sample of space capital omega which are mapped to x so you can see it like that omega such that x of omega equal to small x and so we are looking back to uh, inverse image of x those are mapped to small x and that also usually we can denote it by x equal to small x that means x is observing a value a random number small x observing so we can read it observing it like that okay and the second condition is that uh, this omega x range of x must be a uh, discrete set discrete set that means we are writing in term of a sequence either it will be finite sequence or infinite sequence so both possibilities are there so geometrically if you are willing to visualize that means we are having a sample space omega and in that sample space omega is are mapped to this random number x1 x2 x3 x4 like that you can say that which one is the first uh, random number which is the second random number which is the third random number like that way so there is a well ordering property well order what is meaning of well order property natural number set of natural number is well ordered having well ordering property why one is coming before two two is coming before three three is coming before four so there is a natural order we can talk about likewise also we can say that natural number is uh, integer is also having well ordering property we can say that minus one is coming before zero zero is coming before one one is coming before two like that minus two is, is coming before minus one so there is a well ordering property likewise also you can say that rational is ha also having same thing because it is having countable you are able to write rational number in term of a single sequence okay so automatically you will get well ordering property order sequence if when you are talking about in sequence you can say that it is first term it is second term third term like that okay so uh, here omega x is that kind of discrete set okay so here graphically you can see that once you are having a discrete random variable then you are talking about uh, what are the probability of observing those random numbers probability of observing random numbers we will denote it by collection of probabilities that why because we are having various random numbers with respect to each random number, number there is a probability that means as random numbers propagate also we see propagation of the probability as well so that means we are having distribution of probabilities with respect to each random variable so that means we are having a probability distribution so we need to talk about probability distribution of random numbers in discrete case we call it probability mass function what is meaning why we are calling calling it probability mass function so in physics you might have already seen that uh, if i am giving you a solid body how you compute probability uh, mass mass of that body 
how you compute mass of that, that word a center of mass later we will go how you compute uh, uh, mass of that body what is mass what is mass of a body solid body we see density and we see volume how much volume that will take so we what we do we are taking a point mass and point mass is having volume dv generally we call it so we compute uh, what is the uh, point mass dm equal to density times dv so density is what it is function of x x is what a space coordinate so that we had written so uh, that one is regarding continuous body when uh, the mass is distributed continuously and we compute it through integration but we suppose we are having discrete body discrete body like uh, uh, one mass two mass three mass point point kind of thing so point wise we are say, so how we compute total mass we will sum the mass of all those given discrete points and we will get that so discrete nature we will say that mass of this body mass of that like uh, center center of mass if you talk about uh, there are various body collection of solid body then you come up with center of mass approach so center of mass it is sum of the center of mass of each individual body it is coming like that so discrete in discrete fashion you go through that uh, okay discrete fashion so discrete when th there is a discrete kind of things we try to compute probability mass function that means each discrete body is having some probability so that's why mass wise we are going point wise we are going we call it probability mass function probability mass function it is like that so the distribution of probability distribution of discrete random variable we call it probability mass function okay and how it is defined as it will define through probability measure probability measure via x so it is defined as uh, a small p probability mass function we denoted by a small p a small remember the a small p suffix x we relate it with the random variable x a small p of x is what it is composition uh, it is talking about probability measure is composed with inverse image of x do you know what is meaning of composed what does it mean that means we are computing probability measure of inverse image of x this one is one relation of the random variable a small x okay and it is defined as uh, probability measure is composed with inverse image of x that means we are computing probability measure of inverse image of x probability measure of inverse image of f are you getting meaning of this or not okay so probability measure of inverse image of x so we write it here uh, probability measure of inverse image of x is what it is collection of all omega which are mapped to this a small x and uh, this e event also we denote loosely by x is observing a value a small x x is observing value a small x loosely we can denote it like that okay so uh, probability mass function at point a small x it is defined by probability that x is observing value a small x you can read it well, you can read it like that this one is defined by so you have to forget about all these these three terms and directly you will call it this one is defined by probability measure that x is a, observing a value a small x a small x is the random number you will say that and it is satisfying three properties the properties of probability measure what are the properties the probability measure is always taking value between 0 and 1 so first and second property both I have taken together. Probability of phi is 0, probability of sample of space is 1. And if you are taking any proper event, it would be between 0 and 1. So first two conditions I have taken together and it becomes closed interval. So first, so probability, this probability mass function is taking value between 0 and 1 including 0 and 1. Okay. The second property is what? summability probability that means if you talk about uh, 
that dismissively disjoint events then what is the pro probability of union of mutually disjoint event it is sum of the probability of those events mutually uh, mutually disjoint events sum of the summability so sum is coming here there and here if you are talking about discrete random variable why this sum is equal to 1 if you are summing for all possible random variable random numbers why it is 1 so if you talk about uh, discrete random variable then you know that this one is omega okay and what is nature of omega x omega x is a discrete set that's why because x is a discrete random variable so it is it is a discrete set that means it is written as single sequence okay and just recall the property of definition of function we know that the definition of function x is satisfying everyness in the domain uniqueness in the range uniqueness in the range okay so what are the range element range element are actually codomain is r set of rational numbers not set of real numbers uh, but if you talk about range here we are taking discrete set then range contains random numbers x1 x2 x3 x4 and it will go like that infinite numbers may be or finite depends upon what is what kind of problem we are having what kind of random variable or random experiment we are having okay so it may be uh, it may go on x1 x2 x3 and xn and it will keep on going like that in sequential manner it will keep on going sequential manner so if i ask what are the pre major pre images of x1 or inverse images of x1 definitely some sort of omegas will map to x1 this this map to x1 we call it a1 these omegas which are mapped to x1 we know that uh, from uh, that what uh, everyness thing to omega can be mapped to a single number in codomain but one omega can't be mapped to two different number in codomain it can't be as per definition of uh, function okay so call it a1 this collection call it a1. or better you can call it oh yeah call it a1 a1 is what it is collection of omega which are mapped to x1 that means you will loosely say that actually a1 is inverse image of x1 a1 is inverse image of x1 inverse image of x1 likewise there will be some sort of omega which will map to x2 okay that we call it a2 so a2 was what inverse image of x2 a2 is what inverse image of you can write in set theory form it is collection of all omega which are mapped to x1 a1 and a2 is it is collection of all omega which map to x2 so it is inverse image of x2 okay 
likewise you can talk about inverse image of x3 that means it is collection of all omega which are mapped to x3 so you call it a3 inverse image of x3 is a3 and you will keep on going like okay then inverse image of xn would be an you will call it here this one is an okay that means all those omega which are mapped to xn and likewise you can keep on going okay so do you see any common element between ai anyone do you see any common element between common omega between ai do you see any common omega what does it mean a1 a2 a3 or a4 as inverse images of x1 x2 x3 x4 all these it is introducing a partition of sample space omega that means omega is written as union of a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 up to f sequence sequence of event these are coming as sequence of event and what is the probability of omega one what will what then what will be sum of probability of a1 plus uh, that probability of a1 plus probability of a2 plus a3 it would be what that would be one what is the probability of a1 it is actually value of probability mass function at x1 what is the probability of a2 it is the value of probability mass function at x2 that means probability that x is observing value x2 likewise what is the uh, probability of an means it is probability measure that x is observing value xn that means value of probability mass function at xn that means if you are summing the probability mass function for all possible random numbers the sum will be equal to 1 that is the second property that is the second property b so it is coming from property of third property of probability measure it is coming from third property of probability measure that means here you have already written omega as how you have written omega as union of you can talk about union of a i is i is varies from 1 to n i varies from 1 to infinity I, I don't know what is the size of sequence as per question size of sequence will clear ok so till that we will write union of ai just we will write it and this one is leading to the notation of this ok along with this deepness property mass function so property mass function is satisfying the first property this that means uh, adjoining property a and b of property measure and the uh, summability property that third property of property measure it turn into this okay now what you do if you are not dealing with all possible random numbers you are just taking some sort of random numbers that we denote as a borel set b b is what it is a subset of omega x that means some sort of random number you are taking it so how you will compute probability uh, that probability of b that means we are just dealing with some sort of random number by summing the value of probability mass function for all those random numbers so the third one is talking about computation of probability for some sort of random numbers it is not talking about it is not dealing with all if you take in place of b if you take omega x then this would be equal to 1 if you take in place of b if you take omega x then all possible random numbers then 
this probability equal to 1 that in the B we had already discussed, but we are not going for that. We are talking about we are interested to compute probability of some sort of random numbers which are needed in the in the present scenario. So, that third one is talking about computation of probabilities, probability of some sort of random number. Okay. So, if you are talking about probability distribution of a discrete random variable, we call it probability mass function and it, it is defined as uh, a small p of x such uh, by this probability measure p capital P that x is observable or small x and it is satisfying three properties. So, a small p of x it is probability mass function of the random variable. So, it is talking about function kind of things. Now, uh, you will talk about event in a more detailed perspective, how event is defined when you are dealing uh, with discrete uh, random variable. So, for each possible value of value x, a small x of the random variable x, we collect all possible outcome that give rise to small x, all possible omega, a small omega which give map to small x. Then their probability is to obtain, we go for uh, this composition mapping that uh, probability measure is composed with inverse image of x. That means, uh, a small p of x is defined as probability that x is observing value a small x. That is probability of all those omega which are mapped to small x. Okay. It is a little bit indirect process. So, all the events involves involving the random variable can be expressed as the union of a cage, event a cage. What are a cage? A cage, a cage that a 1 you are calling it inverse image of x 1, a 2 you are calling it inverse image of x 2 uh, likewise. So, these are the a cage. Okay. So, if you are taking b, it is some sort of random numbers. Suppose b contains x2 and x5, some sort, I am saying some, some sort of uh, random number. So, definitely what is meaning of uh, uh, this? So, we know that x2 is inverse, uh, x2 is having inverse image a2 and here 3. So, it is x2 and x3 take exactly, x2 and x3 and inverse image of x3 is a3. Okay. Then what you will say a2 and a3, what is the relation between a2 and a3? Is there any common omega between a2 and a3? Is there? No. As per definition of function, there should not be common because a2 is talking about collection of all omega which are mapped to x2 and a3 is talking about collection of all omega which are mapped to x3 and if someone is saying that a2 and a3 is having common element that means that omega will map to x2 and x3 both it will break the principle of defining a function uniqueness it will break the uniqueness rule if there is any common element between a2 and a3 it will break the principle of being a function x, x is a function so in that case x will be no more a function so definitely what we will say a2 and a3 both are not having any common element, both are mutually disjoint. So, if you are willing to compute probability of, of B, what does it mean? That means probability of, it is probability that A2 union A3. And we are talking about probability of, because in B contains A2 and X3. So, B is equivalent to uh, union of A2 and A3 and a2 and a3 both are mutually disjoint. So, this probability is just sum of the probability of a2 and a3. What is the probability of a2? Because a2 is mapped to x2. Probability of a2 is that means value of probability mass function at x2. Probability of a3 is what? Value of probability mass function at, at x3. So, how, how you got uh, probability of b? b is observing these two value by summing the value of probability mass function at these two value. Just we do summation of probability mass function for not all possible random numbers, 
only for those which are present in B. Third property, the, this is the third property, what we call it. Okay. Or if we, now there are various scenarios, if x is 1, 1, that means inverse image of x would be a single set, it would be singleton. A, a1 will, a, a1 will contain single element, A2 will contain single element, A3 will contain single element, that single one to one correspondence. If it is one to one correspondence, so there are two possibilities. Either it would be X would be one, one, one to one correspondence, one one map, or it would be many one map. One, one one map or many one map. Okay. So this this is the scenario of one one map. Uh, this is the scenario of many one that means many omega map to x the same x so in that case how you compute protein mass function at x how you compute that means we go at the outcome label and we try to see what are the outcome omega are mapped to x and we compute the probability of those outcome and sum it up in order to get value of protein mass function of x okay so that is the many one approach if further if you talk about like that okay so in either case we can summarize the probability that the value of discrete random variable the value of discrete random variable take on by defining the probability mass function so the same definition probability what is the value of probability mass function uh, how probability mass function is defined as it is defined that probability that random variable x is observing value a small x. Probability that random probability measure that random variable x is observing value a small x and satisfy these three properties. Same thing what in last slide I had discussed, same thing I am explaining in again. Okay. Now computation of probability mass function in one one and many one way. So one example that uh, if you try to talk about uh, tossing a coin, if you are taking experiment tossing a coin, what are the possible omega? Omega would be either head or tail. Two possibilities are there. Okay, and uh, they are uh, defining a random variable. So uh, the random variable you are defining. So head will map to generally head we call it success, and tail will call it failure. And in binary, this one is a binary situation. So in binary situation, actually success we call it one. Success will map to one, and failure will map to zero. If you, okay. Zero information, failure is zero information, success is that one information, you are getting part. So that means x of omega is mapped to zero when omega is equal to uh, tail. x of omega mapped to one when omega is head. Okay, that situation is coming here. So if I am asking what is the property mass value of property mass function at zero, it is that property that x is observing value zero x is observing value 0 means probability of head. What is the probability of head? If you are, you are having unbiased coin, what would be probability of head? 1 by 2. And likewise, what is the value of probability mass function at 1? That means P is observing the probability, probability that x is observing value 1. Sorry. So it would be tail actually. It would be tail actually. Yeah. Wrongly I have written here. It would be head. Here, probability of head and tail, both in case of un unbiased coin, both are 1 by 2. Okay. So, regarding many one experiment, the experiment consists of a single fair die, die plural is dice and singular is die, die toss. You are talking about single die toss. So, what is the sample of space? It will contain, if you are throwing a dice, uh, what are the possible, possible outcome? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, and uh, there we define a uh, map like uh, mapping of outcome to odd and even pass. Even we talk odd will map to 0 and even will map to 1. We are saying it like that. We are defining a random uh, variable like this way. Odd is mapped to 0 and even is mapped to 1. Odd is failure, even is success. So x of omega is 0, 1, 2. So this one is the many one scenario. If I am asking to compute probability value of probability mass function at zero, that means I am asking to compute probability that x is observing value zero. Then in how many way uh, through outcome, how 
uh, in how many way it will observe zero when omega is one or three or five. That means we have to sum the probability of all those outcome. Probability of one plus probability of two plus three plus probability of five. So that's where this uh, probability of omega such that omega is one two three four one three five. Okay. And that means 1 by 6, how many times? 3 times. So, 3 by 6, that means finally we are getting 1 by 2. And if you are willing to uh, compute value of probability mass function at 1, here omega x is what? It is just uh, having two elements. Omega x, range of the random variable is having just two elements. What are those? 0 and 1. You have to always understand what is omega x. It is having two elements, 0 and 1. If it is uh, time is around 1.30, let me know because you people have uh, lunch time there. No? Uh, I think lunch, what is lunch time is up to 2. No? So uh, let me recall. Uh, what is lunch, uh, lunch time? What it is up to 2. No? Okay. So, uh, so here omega is uh, for 0 we have already computed. What is the value of probability mass function at 1? That means probability that x is observing value 1. That means what are the omega which are mapped to 1? 2, 4, 6. So that means we have to compute the probability measure for those omega and we have to sum it up. That means probability, summation of probability of omega such that omega equal to either 2 or 4 or 6. So how many are these? 3. So, 1 by 6, 3 times it is coming. So, again, summation is 1 by 2. So probability, value of probability mass function at, I am saying that value of probability mass function. This I am saying that probability that x is. How I read, also you have to focus on that. Okay. So, all these are very simple example. So, this example is also very simple. Consider a, a four tosses of a coin. You are taking a coin, you are tossing four times. So, then you have to find the probability mass function for the random variable. It is defined as number of heads. It is defined as number of heads. So, if you talk about sample space, actually we do not have to see sample space here. We do not have to. Just for your sake of simplicity, I have uh, given your, your sample space. These are the possible sample space. Uh, this is the sample space. That means all possible collection of outcomes. How many would be there? 2 to the power 4. That means 16. 16 outcomes would be there in the sample space. We are not interested with that. We are interested in that. How? What are the numbers the, that come in omega x? So what are the number? G, either it will be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. If you are tossing a coin 4 times, so either you will get a 0 time head or 1 time head or 2 time head or 3 time head or 4 time head. There is no option of 5 time head. Okay. So, again we have to compute value of probability mass function, a small p is probability mass function, value of probability mass function at 0, How, as per definition what does it say? It say that we are computing probability measure of the event that x is observing value 0, x is observing value 0, what does it mean? There is no head, what is the corresponding outcome? All are t, 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 four times. Uh, what is the probability of that? Outcome 1 by 16. Now, if you come to compute value of probability mass function at 1, what does it mean? That means it is defined as probability that x is observing value 1. That means 1 ahead. That means we are getting, there are, it is one kind of sampling. That means we are having uh, 4 boxes. There is a sample with 4 back boxes. Okay. And uh, there is one head, there is one head, we are talking about one head. So what would be it? Be? How many count would be there? 4 C1. That 4 choose 1, you call it 4 choose 1, that means uh, it is 4 choose 1 is coming. And what is the probability of uh, this kind of sample, where you observe 4 outcome, uh, there you observe head, one head and 3 tails, 1 head means 3 tails, at the same time also it is talking, so how many uh, 
possible combinations are there? How many possible? Four choose one, four, and what is the probability of one outcome? One such. So probability of this one s is one by two. Probability of this one is one by two. Probability of this one is one one by two. Probability of this one is one by two. That means one by two into one by two into one by two into one by two. What would be this? One by sixteen. One by sixteen. So four choose one. A probability of each uh, such outcome. That kind of outcome. That is mapped to one. Okay, so four choose one, one by sixteen. This one is talking about how many such outcomes which are mapped to one. So actually, this is the probability. Value of probability mass function at one. Likewise, value of probability mass function at two is this six by sixteen. Value of probability mass function at uh, three is four by sixteen. Value of probability mass function at uh, three is three. We have already computed. Value at four, it is. 1 by 16 so yeah, these are very simple example again i i would like to say that